Alright, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this story is beyond belief, beyond anything I've ever seen. As far as stupidity, not even Nancy Pelosi can top this one. Well, it's just close, but... David R. Wheeler lives in Lexington, Kentucky, where he's a freelance writer and journalism professor at Asbury University. This is a story from CNN. What the guy's ba basically saying is that if Scotland pulls away from the UK, which they're thinking about doing, they're thinking about voting for independence from the United Kingdom. If they do that, form their own country, then this guy says that we ought to go back to the UK on our hands and knees and beg them to take us back in. And I'm sitting here thinking, you can't be serious. I can't help but wonder if this is some kind of a joke. How can anybody be this stupid? But I know it's not. The funny thing, uh, the funny thing about this is what he says, because no one's so stupid to think that we're actually going to do that. There might be some liberals who would agree with him, but come on. That's a good thing. The bad thing is, the thing that isn't funny is that this imbecile is teaching jur uh, journalism at Asbury University. You see, he should be fired immediately. Uh, saying we are going to give up our independence and become part of the British Empire again? He's out of his mind. This is what, I, what Savage means by the mental disorder of liberalism. First of all, they wouldn't want to take on our debt and our other problems. And Britain is hardly this uh, utopian haven like he's talking about. For one thing, uh, they're being overrun by Muslims and it's not going to be long before will be taken over. And you pay like 20 bucks a gallon for gas or something more there. Who knows how much it is. It's a huge amount of money. But this idiot is teaching kids and he says something like this. He should be bussing tables someplace. He does not deserve to teach kids. Not when he's going to say outrageous things like this. We're not going to give up our country and go... crawling back to Great Britain and saying... We're sorry. We pulled away. We know we were in error. <laughs> we're so sorry, Great Britain. We... <laughs> oh, come on. What the hell's wrong with people's heads like this? In the past few years, as America has degenerated into political and economic chaos, it has become increasingly clear that we would be far better off if we apologized for a revolt against the Crown and requested to rejoin the United Kingdom. He actually said that. In this column, it's on CNN. Well, why do you think we've degenerated? Look at the shit that we have in the White House. We have somebody who's known in the Middle East as a Kenyan and a Muslim running our country. Screw that. I don't even think... I don't even think Nancy Pelosi can compete with this guy. It's just kind of close. But an unbelievable idiot. There are four main ways that America would benefit from unification with the UK. Brits have better health, less inequality, excellent manners, and let's face it, a superior culture. What the fuck? Because they drink tea in the afternoon and that makes them superior? 
We're our own country. Fuck you. This is a, this beyond. This guy should not have a teaching job. He should be fired immediately. He's going to say things like this. And, or, and quite frankly, this is kind of treasonous talk. We pulled away from Great Britain to get away from uh, them because they were taxing us and they refused to allow us to have any representation. Want to live longer and then must become state land, the 50 state replacement for Scotland. Basically, and just, this article goes on and on, but basically he wants us to have a European style uh, government, European socialist style government. And that's typical of the thinking of these idiots. The problem is that people like Mr. David R. Wheeler are in all these universities, these Ivy League universities where they're teaching kids and they're filling their heads full of trash. Instead of preparing them for the real world, they fill their heads full of total trash like this. And that, that's what I'm uh, really angry about. This idiot should not be allowed to teach anyone. Like I said, he should be speaking, he should be bussing tables, Sweeping floors. He should not be allowed anywhere near students. Not with views like this. He's welcome to express his views. But you have to have a, a certain amount of reason and logic to be able to teach students. And obviously this individual has none. No, Mr. Stephen R. Wheeler, we are not going to rejoin... Uh, UK. We are our own country. And quite frankly, in domestic affairs, in international affairs, not domestic, they uh, are the junior partner. So, screw you. You know, fuck you. And fuck the horse you rode in on. And please, resign from your position immediately. This is what we mean by the mental disorder of liberalism. This one belongs in the cage. I don't care. He, this one should be taken immediately to the nearest mental hospital. He doesn't understand what the country is, where we came from, or anything. So, screw him. Lock him up. Lock him up. Lock him up. But, for every one of him, there's another thousand... In uh, these Ivy League schools, filling kids' heads with total garbage, and you wonder why the country is declining. And you wonder why you wind up getting a Kenyan Muslim for a president. I, I refuse to call Obama the president. I don't even know what he is. I wish we could, you know, remove Obama on grounds of incompetence or something. It's not going to happen. He's not going to be impeached. This, I, I give up. You know, this is ridiculous. And he's saying we have all these problems and this, these problems and these problems. We're not going to become... We are not going to become a European socialist style uh, monarchy or whatever the hell it is. We're not going to do it. So, this is a nutcase. This is the mental disorder of liberalism showcased. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm a little bit out of sorts right now, but sometimes that happens.